Hi, um, I'm Ian and I'm going to be doing an um, unboxing of a Asus G75VW. Uh, this is the Best Buy model that they came out with. There are some uh, different model numbers. There's different model number for Newegg. Uh, dot com. There's also another different model number for like Tiger Direct. Um, this is the Best Buy uh, model number BHI7N07. So I'm going to go ahead and start the unboxing of it. And let's see what we get here. power cord. Pretty exciting. Um, we have a battery. Is an ion? Asus, Republic of Gamers. This is one of the best, if not the best, uh, gaming laptop on the market today that you can buy. Um, Uh, actual power adapter for it. Put that down. And I'm going to go ahead and pop in the battery, get this thing fired up. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, it's got the 17-inch uh, um, screen on there. And it's also got a uh, built-in web camera. Um, one of the main reasons why I got it uh, was because of the... Um, the back lit keyboard actually lights up and it's uh, pretty nice if you're in like a low light situation um, and I also like the way that the uh, keyboard is laid out um, if you're if you're a, a gamer um, it's it's perfect for that um, got a lot more room um, on the side here um, you have a HDMI port I can zoom in there. Um, it's got two USB 3.0 ports on it, and 3.0 ports, I believe, gives you 480 megabytes per second um, out of those ports. You have an HDMI out to go to an HD TV. You can get full 1080p um, out of this laptop. And I believe that is a mini um, digital video port there, or a mini um, digital port. And then, of course, you have your external monitor hookup, your RJ45 for um, Ethernet network cable, um, which is pretty sweet. And on the other side... Um, you got two, another two USB 3.0 ports, and um, you also have a DVD, um, ROM slash Blu-ray reader um, drive. 
Um, you also have an SD card uh, drive where you can um, put SD cards in there, you know, photos and things like that. And what's nice about this laptop is that the audio ports um, are on the side. So you have your mic port and then you also got your headphone port, you know, audio out jacks. Um, this laptop does have the um, i7 8 cores uh, processor in it, um, which is pretty sweet if you like doing a lot of multitasking um, type things. If you're a power user, you're definitely going to be using um, that processor if you're a heavy gamer. Um, this laptop came with 8 gigs of uh, memory. Um, it is expandable um, to um, 16 gigs of RAM. And let's see. It's got the, the wide 17.3 uh, uh, inch screen on it. Um, the NVIDIA graphics card is real nice uh, with this laptop because um, it is a detachable NVIDIA. It's an NVIDIA GeForce uh, GTX 660M 2 gig um, separate video card so you can upgrade a video card in the future like you would really need to. The video card is also over is also you're also able to overclock the video card um, so that's pretty cool. It does have DDR5 memory, um, the video card. I wanted to show you guys the actual, um, take this thing apart here. Oh, this this computer did come installed with Windows 8, and uh, not really a big fan of Windows 8 so far. I've never really been um, a big fan of Windows 8. It, um, I just I just don't like it. So what I'm probably going to be doing is I'm going to um, be putting uh, Windows 7 Ultimate on here and then doing a dual boot uh, with Windows 8. Um, it is easier to um, actually wipe it and then put the Windows 7 on and then add Windows 8 to it. Um, so it is a lot easier doing it that way. Um, but let me show you uh, the guts of this. Uh, laptop. Let's let's crack it open. Okay, we are back. Um, I have the uh, G75VW flipped over, and I have the back um, plate off of the laptop. And as you can see, it's got the two um, bays here for two different hard drives. Um, it did come with a one terabyte drive. I believe. The RPMs are 5,400 RPMs. Then it does have an available um, um, spot for another additional hard drive. So if you want to do like a dual boot, Windows 7 could be on this drive and Windows 8 could be on this drive. Um, and then you can see the expansion slots here for the DDR3 memory, which it can be upgraded to 16 gigabytes. Uh, so that's a lot of memory for a laptop computer. Um, you also can see your heat sinks here um, and your left fan. Um, uh, what's, what's really awesome about this laptop is is the, the uh, fans come with these lint or dust guards that if you're out and you're at somebody's house and you're gaming or something like that and you're starting to get some overheating issues or something like that you can take these off um, and actually change them out with with a new one that's clean so maybe if you don't have time to clean it off right away or something like that 
you can just get um, a new one out and basically swap it out. And the same um, on the right side too, um, is you can you can just take off the dust guard and you can swap it out um, with another one. So very very good design here that the Asus uh, people did. They definitely know how to make a gaming um, laptop computer. Um, I was mistaken before. You actually have to disassemble the laptop to get the graphics card um, out to detach the uh, graphics card or upgrade the graphics card. You would need to disassemble uh, the entire um, laptop computer. Uh, what is also cool about this ASUS is it has a built-in subwoofer um, right here. So the subwoofer, um, I haven't actually had a chance to test it yet, um, but maybe I'll do that a little, little bit later on. Um, one of my favorite things about this computer is how cool it does run. Um, it has these awesome uh, I call them exhaust pipes or exhaust ports. Um, so here's your right exhaust port and then you have your your left exhaust port. And what's nice about these is a lot of traditional laptops um, the hot air will blow out the side or it will blow out the bottom right on your leg um, which, which, which can get really 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 hot. Um, so this makes a whole lot more sense, the actual hot air blowing out the exhaust pipes of, of this computer um, instead of all over your leg, um, which is cool. So, And the hinges on this are really nice, um, really sturdy, well-built laptop. Like a, This is a very, very well-built uh, computer system, um, which is kind of a disadvantage too, in a way, because it is very heavy. Uh, I believe it comes out to be 9.2 pounds, which is heavy for a laptop computer system. Um, but it's because it's such a powerhouse. I mean, this laptop will run anything that's out there right now anything that you can throw at it it'll run it and what's also nice is for future references this laptop is upgradable um, you can add more uh, memory to it you can add uh, a faster or better graphics card to it later on um, so there are a lot of options for you with this with this guy and it being a uh, nine 0.2 pound 17 inch uh, laptop computer you're definitely going to want to get a a bag for it uh, I picked this up at Best Buy too um, where uh, it will support this 17.3 uh, inch 9.2 pound laptop um, and you are able to carry it and it, it goes it goes uh, holds it well especially um, when you're riding a motorcycle, uh, you want to make sure you got some good support there if you are transporting it on a motorcycle or just having to transport it in general. Um, okay, now I got it all back together again. And we're going to flip it over. And turn it back on. Oh, it's already back on. Oh, and it also uh, forgot it came with some pretty useful uh, some paperwork here. Um, came with the warranty card, um, you know, you can fill out. Also came with a uh, a book, some kind of book here about uh, explains a little bit about Windows 8, which is a, I think a completely useless operating system, but if you uh, want to know more about it, you can go through here and check it out. I will be keeping the Windows 8 on there and doing a dual boot with Windows 7. Um, just in case they decide to fix it or um, whatever. You can make some customizations to it 
uh, to make it a lot more user friendly. Um, but basically, that's it. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to show you the demonstration of the um, backlit keyboard. I mean, there is a way to make it. There's a setting that makes it dimmer and brighter. Let me see how it looks in the dark. So let's shut the lights off here. Um, so as you can see, um, it makes it very useful at night uh, and if you're in a low light situation uh, where you can still work on your laptop. So that's basically it uh, for the G75 uh, VW Asus uh, gaming laptop model. Uh, if you have any questions just comment and I'll try to answer them. Thank you.